welcome back to my channel. Today we're checking out another Naraka update. Today is August 29th, 28th, depending on where you're uh, from. And we got a big one today. Let's check it out. So uh, we've got Showdown 2. Point Wait, it's like the full freaking 2.0. I didn't even realize it was like 2.0. Like that we didn't already have 2.0 and what that means. Let's go check that out. Ooh. Oh my god, that's scary. It's huge! Oh, that's so... Oh my god, there's so many faces on the other side. Whoa! Four face Colossus. That is so freaking horrifying to look at. Oh, the water one's kind of sick. Ew, it's pooping out bugs! Oh, dear lord! Uh, nightmare fuel! Jace Louise! Yeah! Oh, we got the great sword. Thank god. I was just thinking to this. I was like... <gasps> what was that attack? Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for crazy great sword attacks with Yoto. Oh my gosh, unique. Only to show... Oh man, Mizu's about to be a Yo... Oh my gosh, that animation is so good. Oh! Okay, that was pretty epic. Wait, there's more? There's more? Hello? We love Yoko. Yo, thank you for the sloppy Malik. I love those are you. Thank you so much. Ooh! Wait, is this a boss? Are you nice or are you not nice? It was a lot of nice. Do the... Do the... Um, the noise. Oh, the throat singing sounds is so good. Oh my gosh. Yo, they don't even get... We don't even get to see what that boss is. This is so cool. Okay, new hero in showdown. Yoto with the demonic blade in hand. May you slay evil. Hell yeah. Um, so, okay, new chapter. Sunwing's rest. The dark valley is fraught with hidden danger as Onus is attacking in an even more shocking manner this time. Um, Nerdy's ruins. An adjustment to Yama's abyss. Yama's abyss has been transformed into a pure trial ground. Uh, players can now bring their soul jades into battle, continuously challenging higher stages to advance their showdown rank. The original format of Yama's abyss has been made into a brand new game mode. Um, Nerdy's ruins featuring more powerful anima rings, fresh gameplay elements, and even more thrilling experience. Take on the challenge of Nerdy's ruins and Yama's abyss separately for a variety of bountiful season limited re rewards. Brand new soul jades and potential Potential poison welding! Uh, fight poison with poison and seize victory. Uh, potential levels has been reset. We have adjusted effects of existing potentials as well as added new poison related potentials. Uh, season settlements turmoil. Season will end today. Um, you guys get the avatar for all the whatever level you ended up. Treasures. There's the seal hero badge. Um, showdown leaderboard. Um, players will be rewarded with an avatar that corresponds with their highest rank. Progress reset in the new season. Um, showdown bronze one and um, as a best. I'm actually excited for the reset. Maybe, maybe I'll actually like main it because it's Yoto. Brand new showdown pass. I'm ex okay. What's weapon is it for? Um, Ivy shards, legendary weapon skin, and celestial abyss. Martial skill cosmetic, thunderbolt blaze, draconic lightning strike for Viper. Inferno and annihilation. <laughs> Oh my god. Legendary Soul Jade, Pestilent Pool, Extreme. I, I wish they would carry over to the main game. They like the, the effects. It would be fun. 
Truth and Myth, a new event um, until September 23rd. This article comes from Predoria. Try to piece together the story it holds. During the event, participating in survival modes or showdown matches will earn you the inside tokens according to your in-game performance, including but not limited to dealing damage, countering, and healing. You can earn up to 100 per match uh, with a daily cap of 200. Every 200, convert into knowledge points, spend points to unlock clue stories for three artifacts and receive clue rewards. All three uh, artifact clues are unlocked and open artifact treasure to obtain the final reward. So that'll be exciting to see and claim those ancient wood from the 29th to the 11th. Um, resting place of the ancient remains, a site where fate and peril converge. Gain fallen branches by completing a uh, quest during the event. Fallen branches can be redeemed for great event rewards complete all daily quests to receive bonus and there are five groups of challenges each available in turn at different times um tournament number nine for playstation bump it up there's the times for you guys and getting different placements and everything definitely go check it out for the playstation people um there's also playstation challenge um for challenge the wind in this race playstation sky high racing six is now open as well so you guys can get top speeds and stuff um hero adjustments kylin uh, optimize a hit effect when kylin um black gold a blade under ultimate state hits enemy slightly shorten the startup frames of the charge strike and added a special effect prompt to attack path of echo strike in the ultimate um Killin slash rent. Um, for shale, the skill shield bash rush can now block ranged weapons projectiles during the rush. Um, that's cool. Other adjustments redesign the calculation method for endurance threshold after being frozen by Justina or enchanted by Tessa. Any armor or health damage taken during this period will be reduced by the corresponding threshold. The dev notes of why this is. Uh, previously, when a player was frozen or enchanted, enemies could use armor pierce and other tactics to deal large amounts of damage without breaking the armor threshold and the control effect which went against the design purpose of this threshold therefore we've adjusted the calculation method um, used for threshold so that justina's freeze and tessa's enchant zipping's inspiration shield and hottie's aerial ascent are now all consistent with one another and then fist blade adjustment oh my dear lord that's a lot okay when you have cloud weaver equipped the wild sweep effect will change when using the charge horizontal strike slightly increase the start of frames of the second uh, stage charge vertical strike slightly reduce the movement of horizontal and vertical strikes while sprinting slightly reduce the stagger time when the vertical strike and crouching horizontal strike hit grounded enemies reduce horizontal and vertical strike damage multipliers reduce the damage multiplier of cloud weaver yeah all of them nerf there we go and for katana just the effect when the fourth stage horizontal strike hit standing enemies Combat adjustments added a special effect prompt when successfully dodging an enemy's attack and optimized the display for damage value text colors when dealing damage. In-game adjustments, mechanism adjustments added a new mechanism, treasure stele or steel maybe? interact with it to accept the serial cash hunt quest, follow the clues provided by the treasure still and to find the chest to get... Is that in the match? On the map? Is there a treasure hand on the map? Yes! Um, out of game adjustments. So custom room. Out of the falling custom room setting. Disable global kill log. Disable the right corner of the screen will be hidden. Oh, that's nice. Ah, uh, disable kill announcement. Um, okay. Disable info of the killer. and Disable info of the kill leader. Interesting. Uh, I like that they just give you options. And the more options, the better. Um, match history due to the changes of the Yama Abyss. All previous player records will be reset. Shoe switch. Added a new shoe cosmetic for a viper. Let's, so, maple snowfall. That's one of my favorites. Hair dyeing page optimization. The camera and the hair dyeing not allow you to adjust the pitch angle and zoom low. <laughs> give us those little things. After the update for a Buys blessing. Choose to get the deep wood legendary soul jade random gift. Um, cool, cool. Justice store after the update. Deep wood epic soul jade is that it will be in there. Songbird arena. The attributes and skills of heroes in Songbird arena have been adjusted to match solo mode effect. 
and showdown adjustment season challenge so you can get more points uh general season challenges and near reedy's ruin season challenges and unlock additional game content and basic ability boost in the ruins by doing them that's cool that's cool additional content i like it gives you reason to do stuff and grind stuff that's what we need yes yes um yama's abyss has been adjusted to a stage advancing mode that only supports solo challenges uh that's fair because they have this one now no longer distinguish between solos and trios they'll be merged that's fair quick restart button that's nice actually that's really nice if you have a third round add a function to quickly enter the next stage after winning interact with the portal okay okay Neridia's ruins formerly yama's abyss um now has four difficulty levels a normal hard night scream and legend there's higher than night scream <laughs> hard level showdown soldiers can be obtained in other hard stages uh-huh okay okay night scream and legendary any soul jade can drop okay okay all right your soul jade sense level and potential will no longer take effect in the ruins makes sense codex there's an chance to encounter the codex when completing er uh, area quest then already codex has an can enhance existing anima rings provide new ones or make the stage content change interesting um several secret anima rings the new secret can be obtained through Neridi codex the values and qualities of some of these have been readjusted oh so you have to get the codex use it and then hope you get one of the rare secret ones that's fun makes me feel like i'm searching for like secrets playing like risk of rain or something or like hoping i get the map i want next like i i like that um increase the amount of dark tide coins provided by all sources uh-huh increase the price of carved jades in addition roof dealer refresh has been removed so different types of temporary enhancement items uh two types of zones eradicating the evil and money hungry will no longer appear in the normal process dark tide coins can no longer be obtained by abandoning anima rings in default cases and increase the health of the axe evil end great <laughs> um and slightly reduce the health of the hammer one okay copper clad staff copper clad hammer uh depth fiend and uh, you know what okay okay i'll accept that okay soul jade adjusts all ultimate soul jades have been become faded soul jades losing their original effects they can no longer be obtained or enhanced faded soul jades can be reforged into any legendary soul jade from 1.5 by soul oh dear god i guess because they're like not in the game anymore they're like okay you can't have them anymore <laughs> so the ones that are out are now moonbank control unlimited purified circle assist rising tide agus break fire frenzy and rage storm prison agus break titan call soul seeking invisible assassin and rage general call soul seeking mech mayhem load and tai chi teleport auto track the content of ultimate soul jade choice gift has been changed to legendary soul jades from showdown 1.5 um detonating rounds will be temporarily unavailable players who already own this will not be affected by it desperation has been adjusted to only drop in topple mountain night screens delay the time of freezing effect of frostbite in full use on shadows and the effect of soul jane attribute scorching has been changed now after encountering your next melee attack or countering your next melee attack will deal extra blaze damage the damage multiplier the burn inflicted by blaze can be increased from 0.11 to 0.25 optimize the performance of damage numbers the pop up when dealing elemental damage while you have soul jason elemental attributes equipped in all right hero adjustments um reduced how far some heroes move backwards when using diffuse solve making it easier for them to use so viper valda karumi and temi um all got that for viper during her ultimate moving control showdown viper ning can move freely and gain an additional 70 percent damage reduction for feria um the single shock agus break ability of the swarm in her ultimate um mayhem mech showdown has been adjusted um from 25 to 30 in non-canon mode the damage multiplier of bronze mech is adjusted for 3 to 3.5 and the tenacity reduction ability has been adjusted to 90 and 1 i already feel like Farah is pretty tanky in showdown so that's like even better okay for tian hai the duration of his ultimate tian hai call is changed from 30 seconds to 15 bro's getting super nerfed in vajra state um when unarmed the action of releasing um skill moves has been adjusted to a punch with damage multiplier adjusted from 5 to 11 and agus break ability adjusted for five okay so he he is less long but he does more that's actually better probably because it, his his ult does seem long and it's kind of slow it's like thump 
thump. <laughs> like, um, the damage multiplier of vertical strike is is boosted, but hit and his Aegis break ability adjusted from 275. Counter strike combo, large enemies adjusted attack combos with a healing effect upon. It. Ooh, we like that. Oh my god. Everybody's getting adjusted. Chase, Louise, a schmeezy bees. All right, uh, Temmie. His ultimate storm prison showdown. An eye of the wind forms in the center of the prison, periodically pulling enemies within range and reducing. That is so much better. Temmie's ult is practically useless unless you got the aim of legends. Okay. Tarka with his ultimate fire frenzy showdown. Um, he can build rage by attacking enemies. Kurumi with her ultimate purified circle showdown. The attack of all enemies in circles increased by 20%. For Valda, enemies hit by water spears in her ultimate will take additional astral agus damage. And Yushan with his ultimate general call showdown. The counter strike combo against large enemies is adjusted to a two stage attack and hits uh, will have a healing effect. Love the healing effect. Let's go. For Matari, when activating her ultimate, the damage multiplier of her skill is adjusted from 4.5 to 6, and ability from 450 to 600. Um, the healing percentage when dealing damage to enemies during her ultimate has been adjusted and boosted um, 40 to 45%. The attack bonus obtained when releasing the skill is adjusted from 40% to 50%. Uh, which and the damage multiplier of a single spirit blade in his ultimate is adjusted, boosted. Dude, everybody's getting buffed. <laughs> They're becoming tanks. Due to the removal of ultimate soul jades, we have adjusted and optimized the ultimate of all heroes to match experience of equipped them. That's nice. Doom domain adjustments added auspicious omens to Doom domain, which will grant heroes various ultra powerful bonuses. Ooh, ooh. The omens rotate weekly and take effect um, in all four levels. After the update, Doom speed run will be temporarily closed, and the rest of the levels in Doom will stay available until September 12th. Dun, 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 and then it'll be reopened. Currently, the experience in the Doom domain is too similar to regular levels, causing Doom speed run and overlap with Yama Abyss. Additionally, the high difficulty has led to a negative match making experience therefore we have introduced a new and unique auspicious omens to enhance the fun feature adjustment fatigue compensation has uh has been moved to the weekly quest page and new now must be unlocked once you complete um dharma ending rune on normal difficulty you unlock the fatigue so oh so you can grind it until you get there that's cool Re old recasting system removal. The old recasting system will be removed from the game as part of September 12th update. We apologize for any inconveniences this may cause. After old recasting system removed, any remaining quench crystals will still be usable. With the new recasting system, quench crystals will be okay to the carved crystals. Okay, so they're like, we're fixing it and just use the same stuff. Uh, just the monsters. Bosses' jump attack cannot be interrupted by ultimate or skills. Vine Mirror's blue focus strike cannot be blocked by diffuse, but can be countered in bosses blue. Focus attacks have additional auditory cues. We love auditory cues, okay? And a support for Xbox One. But uh, they, it should be crossover with some other stuff and account progress will be saved and switched and everything, unfortunately. So the Xbox One is now officially... Um, not there, which we had heard before, I'm pretty sure. Uh, bug fixes, hair related bugs. Fix an issue where Kynlin couldn't immediately crouch after stop, uh, stopping charge movement. Fix inconsistency and in timing required to chain certain skills, uh, such as Kynlin and zipping special dodge with quick counters and normal counters. Fix an issue where Akko's movement restriction effect wasn't working on certain heroes' movement mechanics with his feral frenzy lockdown. Fix an issue where Kynlin would enter skill cooldown if interrupted at the moment of uh, Raider's touch choke fixed an issue where the visual effects of Tarka's hands displaying to the allies while his ultimate fire frenzy was active. Oh, optimized memory reclamation for Fairland Pang Light on PlayStation, reducing the frequency of lag. Woo, 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 woo. Naraka Koi Cup! After the update, CDGG and OUG's mic will be added to the tournament champion leaderboard and rank. So all the winners getting their acolytes, getting their global invitational, like, dude, all these things. Personal highlights interface. Super cool to see it and everything. All right, store update! New packs. Newly added Matari exclusive pack. Tomb Raider crossover! Wah, 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 wah! Oh, this trailer's good already. This is way more than we saw before, right? Oh. 
Your climbing axe. Yeah, because I think we only saw this walking animation before. And her bow. No, her book! Woo! What's that feather doing there? Oh, Predoria? The longer trailer was really good. <gasps> wow, she's got pistol on her hips! Dude, she's got guns. She's got guns. Let's go! Dude. The hair is cute. The backpack has such a nice leather detail. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, the compound bow. The con I saw it. Yo! Look at the compound bow. It's so cool. We get our axes! Okay, I take back all of what I said. I'm excited that we got so many goodies with her. I was not... I thought it was just going to be a Matari skin. Bro. Bro, we get the bow, we get the, the we get the climbing axes, and we get the fit. I can't, I can't, I was not expecting that. Yo, the the ice hooks are so Yo, the bow looks so good! Oh Bro, the bow is so nice. It's huge too. And the jungle background and base. Okay, okay. I, I I'll take it. I'll take it. Yo, so nice. Voice pack too. That was sick. That was sick. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Shale's exclusive pack, party police pack, which I've been he hearing you guys ooh woo over, um, for days. Okay, this music though. No looting on my account! Man, I thought we were getting a grappling hook. Oh, hello. Oh, those are fist blades! Ooh! Dude, those earrings too. <gasps> the armband. Stop. The rainbow aesthetic to it. it. Oh, and the texture on the plastic. Oh, it's a little animated. Oh, I love the anime. Oh, the holographic tie. The booty. The, the, the booty handcuffs. Wait, it's. Wait, wait, wait. It changes it. It changes her ult to be little police drones. Stop. Look, they're in little shackles too. Look. <gasps> what? Oh my. It changes that part of her ult too. It's so fancy. Oh, those are pretty nice. Dude, they look like military grade too. I like that. I like that. The aesthetic is on point. Oh. Kick him. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I understand why you guys have been oo-wooing at that. All right, we have one more, which which had me oo-wooing, okay? This is what had me oo-wooing because I'm like, I love that this is what Mike's skin is in the game this year. What a legend he is. That is so cute. Derpy. I love that a winner skin, he decided to make Derpy. Hell yeah. It's so good. Uh, oh, look at the kill effect. I didn't even notice that before. And the little doggy bones. It's really cute. I Look at his little signature. And it's, the, the bones are cookies. Oh my God. I love it. Wonder if he actually asked for this. I cannot imagine that he didn't ask for that and they made him something like that. Because if he did it, that'd be really, really awkward. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I don't think that would be the vibe. Okay. Um, Solan crossover, uh, collection, limited time rerun. So all that stuff's coming back. Uh, new discounts. Uh, we've got newly added shale way legendary accessory, the shackles. Fist blades, epic pose, all the stuff we already went over. New item in the store. Surmount card Aeon is now available um, to upgrade hidden treasure of Aeon season by 30 levels for the battle pass and spectral silk store. Epic customization face tattoo number 25 and a legendary accessory adventure sunglasses. <laughs> give me those. Give me those. Give me those. All right, chat. And there were the patch notes. Karate, did I do it all? 